Hello everyone. I'm Professor Tina from AIKTC School of Architecture. Today's topic of the presentation is fire safety, which comes under services as a subject in semester 6. Fire safety. What do we understand by fire safety? For that, we need to know what is fire exactly. So the content of my presentation is we will going to learn about fire. What are the elements of fire? What is fire triangle? And what is fire tetrahedron? Then we will learn about classification of fire or classes of fire, then types of fire extinguishers and its uses. The last method of fire extinguishment. So first we should know what is fire fire is it is a kind of chemical reactions of fuel with required amount of heat oxygen and during this reaction heat and light produces so basically chemical reaction between a heat heat means a some element which produces or started the heat and then the oxygen which is there in the air and the fuel obviously which is needed to generate a fire if all three things which is fuel heat and oxygen clubs then only they generate fire all right so the fire is a chemical reaction of fuel with required amount of heat oxygen and during this reaction heat and light produces which is fire so what are the elements of fire uh, as i said in my previous slide the four element which is important to generate a fire which is one is fuel second is oxygen and third is heat and the fourth one is the chain reaction of all three of it so basically fuel oxygen and heat if it is in a chain reaction without any uh, break or obstruction it starts fire so any of these three elements if we reduce it or stop it then we can have a control on fire so if we uh, we can have a control over the fuel which is you know producing fire then we can stop it if we can uh, break the air or maybe if we can cover the fire so that the air uh, uh, should not reaches till the fire then we are basically breaking the oxygen which is the another element of fire so in that way also we can uh, you know stop the fire to to get exaggerated okay so basically these are the elements of fire fuel oxygen heat and combined chain reaction of it what is fire triangle So as I said in my previous slide uh, the elements of fire if they are in a chain reaction they are called as fire triangle so basically combination of fuel heat and oxygen as you can see in the picture and if there is all three elements are there and if it, there is no chain reaction then you just cannot generate a fire or fire cannot be um, started so for that a chain reaction is must i mean it it should be in the continuation the oxygen heat and fuel needs to be there throughout to have the fire so if any of these elements either we can break the chain reaction or either we can uh, uh, break uh, or re uh, remove any three of these elements so that we can control the fire so the fire triangle is when we have three uh, uh, you know elements of fire together which is fuel heat and oxygen and the fire tetrahedron is when all three of elements are there in a the chain reaction so that is called tetrahedron okay so what are the classes of fire so there are few types of fire we cannot uh, if we don't know the types of classes of fire we actually cannot control it because uh, it really matters by what uh, you know mode or by what uh, material or uh, what is the fuel what is the key uh, source of uh you know generating the fire if we don't know about it and if we don't know the classes of it we will not be able to control it so uh, for that there are uh, few norms which is uh, or few classification which is uh, given by a fire uh, uh, safety measures so uh, the, there are few classes uh, such as class a which has combustible material or a flammable solids such as food class a combustible materials flammable solids such as wood paper rubber so if a fire is generated by any uh, you know these kind of material which are combustible or flammable solids such as wood paper and rubber then it comes under a class a then there is a class b of fire 
which is flammable liquids so if any of the fire which is uh, uh, started by uh, any kind of these flammable liquids such as petrol diesel and paints then it uh, comes under class b so why we are uh, knowing about all these classes because you know by uh, these classes only we actually uh, use the fire extinguishers uh, which i am going to tell you uh, in further slides so class c is the flammable gases uh obviously a fire started by by the help of any kind of flammable gases such as hydrogen butane or methane etc then class d which is the combustible metals uh jaise magnesium and aluminum or potassium so class a is a combustible material and class d is a combustible metal so there is a difference that is by a solid flammable so this is by a combustible metals magnesium aluminum and potassium which is class d then we have a class e which is the electrical equipments so for example a fire is generated by electric any kind of fault in electrical equipment such as computer geysers or uh, tv or uh, uh, you know mixers or anything which is run by electricity and if they uh, started a fire that kind of fire comes under class e all right and then the class f is a cooking oil so if uh obviously cooking oil means if uh, we use oil in the kitchen so if a fire starts from the kitchen it's mostly starts by the uh, cooking oil but it doesn't mean that it uh, uh, all the fire which start in the kitchen is only started by the uh, cooking oil but there's a high possibilities of it so cooking oil such as kitchen oils or fats which comes under class f first is water extinguishers water based extinguishers okay what are these a water extinguishers are the most common fire extinguishers type for class a fire risk so like i said in my previous slide there are classifications of fire so whenever there is a class a type of fire which is a combustible material fire or solid flammable material fire we use water based extinguishers so the the fire extinguishers looks in red bright color it has a label in red bright bright color which is which you can see in the picture and uh, which generally use for organic materials like paper wood and uh, we should never use water based extinguishers if the fire involves electrical equipments or kitchen fires or flammable gases and liquids so basically we should not use water based extinguishers when there is a class e type of fire which is electrical equipment based fire or class f type of fire which is cooking oil based uh, you know fire or class b and c so we should never use water based extinguishers in b e f and c so the next is foam extinguishers so obviously it is as uh, the name says it is a foam based extinguishers which are commonly used for the fire uh, type of class b uh, but it can also work on class a fire as well okay so class b which is a uh, flammable liquids so if there is a fire for uh, which started by petrol or diesel or paints then in that kind of fire we use foam extinguishers so it have the extinguishers uh, looks obviously in red but it has a label which is in cream color and it has written foam on it so we should always uh, look around and we should keep in our mind that if there is a uh, different kind of fire we should know what kind of uh, extinguishers are going to use in those areas so keeping these label in mind is really important so um, the label color in is cream and we use it for mainly b class of fire but sometime we can use it for class a fire as well it can be uh, it is used for organic material which is paper cardboard woods etc and flammable liquids obviously which is paint petrol etc and obviously we should not use these kind of fire in fire involved with uh, electrical equipments kitchen fire and flammable materials uh, the next is dry chemical powder extinguishers so it is also known as abc extinguishers which generally tackle class a b and c fire abc means 
a fire which started with materials organic materials of flammable liquid and flammable gases so a b c if there is a b c type of fire so we can use this tri chemical powder extinguishers and it has a blue color of label on it and it is the powder is written on it it should not be used for fire involved cooking oil and uh, electrical equipment which is 1000 volt and above so it is a co2 extinguishers co2 extinguishers are predominantly used for electrical fire risk and fire type which uh, mainly started in computer server rooms which involves class b and e fires so generally when a fire which start with a uh, Uh, electricals electrical equipments then we use co2 fire it has a black color of label on it and co2 written on it which you can see in the picture and we should not use these kind of extinguishers on kitchen fires flammable metals and combustible materials okay wet chemical extinguishers wet chemical extinguishers are designed for class f fire which involves cooking oil so basically this kind of fire extinguishers we should keep in our kitchen uh which is very important because in our house also in our home also this kind of uh, fire extinguishers are really really important to have such uh, you know uh, fire extinguishers which is made of which is mainly have wet chemical in it so wet chemical extinguishers are designed for class f fire involves cooking oil and fats it has a yellow color of label on it which has written wet chemical on it then it used for cooking oil and fat and do not use for any other type of material uh, classification of fire like flammable metals liquid gases or electrical fire so these are the different type of uh, fire extinguishers which are uh, which we use for different classes of fire like water fire extinguishers foam fire extinguishers tri chemical co2 and wet chemical now what are the fire extinguishing methods So there are four types of extinguishing methods. One is cooling, second is starvation, third is smothering, and fourth is chain breaking reaction. So what are these methods? One is cooling method. So in cooling methods, so removal of heat and uh, if we remove the heat from the fire by using fa- water and foam based extinguishers, then we call this method as a cooling method. Another is starvation. So basically, removal of fuel from the scene is called starvation. But the three uh, elements of fire which we, uh, uh, you know, learn in the beginning of the slide, what uh, those are uh, uh, heat, fuel, and oxygen, obviously, and the, then the chain. So if we break any of these uh, element, uh, these they comes under these kind of methods. So if we remove the heat, it comes under cooling method. If we remove the fuel. by cutting the fuel supply it is called starvation if we remove the oxygen by using co2 or dcb extinguishers or yani dry chemical uh, powder then that is called smoothing and if we break the chain by using dcb or blanketing uh, you know uh, by interfering the one or four uh, one of the f- any, any of the four element which fire goes out so that is called chain breaking So we have four methods of it: cooling, starvation, smoothing, and chain breaking. So we learned about fire, fire elements of fire, fire triangles, classification of fire, types of extinguishers, and their uses and method of using them or extinguishing them. Thank you so much.